This video is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Sizzix. For more information, visit www.sizzix.co.uk. Hello and welcome to the Crafts Channel in association with Sizzix. I'm here with Pete Hughes, who's showing us how to make some of these boxes using a new range of Sizzix dies. So tell me more about the dies. Okay, well, the range is called From the Heart, and they're designed by a lovely lady by the name of Eileen Hall, a very clever lady. And they're what we call scoreboard dies. Mm -hmm. So they not only cut chipboard, but they also score it, which means that the boxes and bags that you make are far more rigid. Mm. Um, and it's a lovely romantic theme set. So there's lots of boxes, as I said, lots of bags, lots of little envelopes mm. to give you that special bespoke gift. Yeah. What I like about them is that they are versatile as well, though. So. Although they are romantic, you can use them for lots of other purposes too. Could be too. Christmas, they could, they could be wedding favours, could be anything at all. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So how would I get started on this one? Okay, well we're going to look at the main die that we're going to use to make the box. This is one of our scoreboard dies, and you can see there's a very deep steel rule blade in there. Mm. And there's also scoring elements, and that's what helps you to fold the box afterwards. Mm. Now there's a magnetic well in here where you can put drop-in dies, and you can cut apertures in the centre of your box or whatever you want. So what we're going to do is attach some card to this chipboard. Now you can see this is, this is quite rigid. You can use even mm. heavier chipboard as well. And I'm going to spray mount that onto there. Um, so you don't have to use plain chipboard. You, you can use any color yeah. mounted onto that. You could even use fabric. We could, we could attach fabric to chipboard and yeah. cut and score that as well. So I'm going to place that face down onto the die like so. Yeah. Then I'm going to take, now I'm using what we call XL cutting plates, these are our long cutting plates, mm -hmm. and just make a sandwich. Um, and I'm going to place that into the machine and just wind it through. Mm. Now you might think that there would be some resistance. You're cutting through chipboard and I'm just using one hand and it's going through so simple. Mm -hmm. Just wind that there. What I like about it is that the finish, because of the scoring, is so, not, so nice and neat. Well, exactly, exactly. And, and you do get a lovely, crisp, professional edge to it. Yeah. Them. So, what we have here, there's our box, and you can see where the score lines are yeah. there. So we just fold that together. And once I've folded it, just to give a little bit of contrast, I mean, it's entirely up to you, but mm. I like to use an ink pad and something like a very light brown, just to bring the contrast to the edges here. Before I actually, so once I've made those fold lines, I'm going to do that all the way around mm -hmm. and there's there's the top so we fold that around and then we'll just use I, mm, again a hot glue gun double sided yeah, tape whatever whatever your preference strong. and we attach that together at the back there and this slips in the top now mm -hmm. here's one that I made earlier where I've, you can see that I've inked it all the way around and there's the top so that feeds in there like so mm -hmm. now to decorate our little box what I've done I've taken a strip of grey spotty card, Yeah. again, I've inked to give a bit of contrast, folded that all the way around and tied that with a piece of baker's twine, which is very versatile for just adding very that delicate detail. Yeah, well. Very much so, mm. very much so. So I'll just leave that one down there. Now, obviously, to decorate it, we need something else. Mm. So well, really, you could decorate it any way you liked, but I really like this could, flower. You could, you and, could. And this flower is part of the set. Mm -hmm. um, it, there are three flowers on the die and because we're using steel rule blade technology very deep blade yeah. we can cut two pieces at once with yeah this. that's great if you're making something like wedding boxes or wedding favors exactly if so you're making a lot of one time yeah but i want to layer that up so i want two on the smallest flower i want one piece on the large flower and i want one piece on the medium sized flower it doesn't matter if they overlap Mm -hmm. So they're all there, ready to go. And I'll take my standard cutting plate. You can use the XL cutting plate. Doesn't really matter. It's entirely up to you. And I'll make that sandwich. So just to remind you of the small flower, I've got two pieces of card. Yeah. Then one on the medium and one on the large. Brilliant. And all the papers are from one set, so they, you know you get yeah. the nice contrast. But they do go very, very well yeah. together. But it gives it this layered effect because you've got them all laid on top of each other and you kind of curl the corners afterwards for detail. And it just gives it a bit of depth as well and a bit of dimension. So there we are. If I lift my plate off, there, I've got the two small ones. Remember we cut the two yeah. at once. With a steel rule die you could cut up to six or seven. I would imagine about seven layers of this thickness yeah. of card would be would cut very easily. So there's two small flowers, there's one medium and there's one larger flower. Mm -hmm. Now, before I actually layer these up, 
I'm going to add a little dimension to the edges of the petals, which is always nice when you're paper crafting with flowers. Mm -hmm. and, and the beauty of these is as well, you could put that in an envelope, send it in the post, and it still retains its stamp. Um, so I go all the way around there. Yeah. I do the same thing with that one and layer it together. And then with these two, I'll take one, fold the petals up like that, and then pop that in the center at a diagonal. Mm -hmm. So, and you can see how that turns out here. Again, I've used my trusty ink pad just, just, around the corners. just to give a little bit of mm. extra depth to those edges. And you've mounted and those with foam pads. I've mounted them with foam pads, mm -hmm. and I've put one in the center ready to receive these two smaller flowers, which you can see are put together. And you can fold those up just again to add dimension. It's sort of almost like a water lily, that one. Yeah. And I'm going to use a nice pearlized bread. So just pop that through the holes, which are already die cut for you. So you always get it dead center. So there's my flower with the bread. And I'm going to remove the paper from my 3D foam pad and pop that in the middle. And that gives it a lovely dimension. Then I'll take the backing of that pad and finally attach it to my box. There's no right or wrong. It could be at the top, it could yeah. be at the bottom. It's entirely up to you. And that's the beauty of a system like Sizzix is we provide the tools and you provide the inspiration. Yeah. And you can make it in any style that you want. Yeah. So Brilliant that's all ready to go. And there's a couple more elements now. I've cut these with our sizzlet dies, which are very thin dies. They have plastic backed and they've got foam on the top, so they eject the little shapes. Mm -hmm. And what I've cut is there's this Almost little like a banner tab, there. Yeah. And also, this here, you can see it says, I love you. And it's already scored. So this one's been scored as well using the sizzlet die. I'm just going to fold that back over like that. So it really gives it some nice dimension. You can see how that sits there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attach one to the other. And again, I'm going to ink it up just to give yeah. a little extra definition to the edges, like so. So just layer those together, sticky pads on the back, just peel those away. In the, does, does the sizzlet die, sizzlet die also come in the same collection? These are collection? sizzlet die sets, they're all part of the same collection, so it comprises Biggs XLs, Biggs dies and sizzlets mm -hmm. as well, just to add the decorative elements. And then finally, I'm going to pop that on to our box, like so, and it's all ready to go. All finished. Thanks very much for showing me that, Pete. Okay, pleasure. For more inspiration, visit sizzix.co.uk forward slash blogs. See you next time.